it's uh, got enamel coating on it, so it's good for 30 years as a washing machine and 30 more years as a small kiln. <laughs> this here used to be a curtain rod in its former life, and this is an original B&M Railroad oiler. It says B&M RR right on the side there. My name's Richard Foy, spelt with an E. My father said, if they don't use the E, don't speak to them. Um, this process is a quick fire process called Raku, and some of the Raku pieces I do, the glazes come from the Middle East, like from Persia and Egypt, the luster glazes. The crackle glazes are the true Japanese style Raku glazes, and they got the idea from the Koreans, although they won't admit it. So the process is really nice because, number one, I get to pull the pieces out, see them being born, and I can do various things to them to alter them as they're cooling. Secondly, because it's a low-fire technique, the pieces don't shrink 20%. They shrink only 11%. So I have a, a lot closer to what I started out with on the wheel in terms of form and size by this method. It'll be 40 years in September. It was Ken Pick's fault who lives in Putney and is still a potter. He's my roommate at University of Vermont. I was a philosophy major. We started doing this stuff and I was addicted to it within two hours. I haven't stopped since and it, I guess after two or three years I'm not really employable doing anything else because I've worked for myself all these years. My father used to say, you're gonna work for a jerk you didn't use that exact word. You might as well be yourself. So that's the way it's been.